The question is, um, some kids or some people are going to be offended by certain words, especially on social media, because there's no physical context or reading of any verbal or nonverbal cues. And so somebody's going to be really offended. Somebody else is going to think it's funny. Somebody else is going to be really, you know, upset. Another person's going to say, hmm, you know, and they'll be fine because of the misperceptions of that one word. We have to teach two things. We have to teach cause and effect. You have to know that potentially when you put something out there, that's going to happen. The other thing is, is the other receivers of reading that word have to know how to handle it. If it offends you, then it offends you. So therefore, you have to say, that offends me, but you know what, I'm not going to take it personally, and I'm, I, this is social media, and therefore I can handle it and I can manage it because I'm okay with me, and I have emotional coping skills. So I've learned not to take that stuff personally. We have to teach both sides. We have to teach the offender and the offended because I think kids are getting, and people in general, are way too offended. And they have to be able to realize, I own my own response to what comes at me. And so we've got to start to teach kids, the only thing you own in a social media world is how you respond to it. That's what you have control over. Teach kids to take back control over themselves and don't allow stuff like that to make them go haywire. That's important. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I speak and consult on school behavior, and I love to help districts solve some of these problems. See you next time.